This is Paul Call again, and welcome to today's challenge video. I'm thrilled, honored, and excited to be sharing this with you, so let's get right to it. Uh, today is about using Google Reader and Google Alerts. You are going to find that it does amazing, amazing things for you and your internet business. Now, Google Reader is essentially four things, and all four of these are extremely important, and I want to state these and point these out to you before we go into the how-to. Number one. Google Reader provides the opportunity for you to have everything you need to be tracking in one simple place. Now, there's some things you need to be tracking. If you're going to be a market leader, you got to be tracking what's happening in the market. And these are coming from a lot of different sources. They're coming from blogs. They're coming from Twitter. They're coming from press releases. They're coming from news releases. you got to get them all in one place so that you can sort through them quickly. Google Reader provides that. Don't worry about the tech worry about what it provides. The other thing that Google Reader does is it provides management across clients and platforms. There might be times when you read your Google Reader content on your desktop, like I'll be showing you here in this video. There might be times when you read Google client, uh, Google Reader content on other clients. Um, you might be a bit of a geek or a nerd and enjoy Flipboard on the iPad or something like that, where you can manage it across clients and platforms. Great thing is, read it once, you don't have to read it again on other, again, clients and platforms. So it's everything you need, but then it's management across all the places you might be consuming it, which provides you to access of what you want when you want to get it. You might be in line at the bank, or as Ed would say, in queue at the bank, and it might be time to catch up on the reading. You might be waiting for something to happen. I, you know, you might be just sitting down at the um, front of the television set. You got a few minutes between the commercials. Again, management across all the clients and platforms, everything you need to be tracking in one place, giving you what you want when you want it. And finally, and this perhaps might be the most important issue here, is Google Reader is the secret weapon to market leadership. If you master this tool, this free tool, you have got everything in one place. You're on top of the market, on top of what's happening. You can manage it when and where and how you want it's pretty phenomenal stuff. So let's get past all this talk and let's actually get to Google Reader and how it works. We are now at my personal Google Reader account. Um, to put things into perspective, I actually read through my account about 20 minutes ago on my iPad. And so everything you're seeing here are things that have come in just the last 20 minutes or so. So as you can see, this stuff comes on a regular and consistent basis of giving me exactly what it is that I'm interested in, what it is that I'm doing. Uh, you get to Google Reader by the very uh, creative domain name of uh, www.google.com forward slash reader. And if you have any sort of an account with Google, you have an account with Google Reader. It's something that happens automatically. So if you have a Gmail account, you have an account with Google Reader. And so uh, don't worry about that. If you don't have an account, go ahead and set one up. And what you'll notice here is, um, again, this is content that I'm looking at right now, but let's assume that you're starting with a blank slate, which anybody listening to this video right now is doing just that. The great thing is you don't have to know where the content is. You don't have to worry about the content. Um, simply, you go to Google Reader and let it do the work for you. What you do is you go up here to click Add a Subscription. And then you type in the term that you are interested in, your you know market term. So I'm going to type in YouTube Marketing. And what's interesting here so when I type in YouTube marketing, we'll get a list of blogs that talk about YouTube marketing. Now, this will be an article here that's kind of a representation of what you can get inside of this feed. And then it'll give you uh, the feed name and, you know, about how many posts they do per week. So here's a company that does about 42.7 posts per week. They've got 1,160 subscribers. Very cool. I definitely want to subscribe to that. Then you can see um, it appears down here. Beautiful. Now, here's somebody who's got 30,000 subscribers. They do 255 posts a week. Wow, this is great. I mean, 30,000 people can't be wrong. A lot of people are reading this blog. This is exactly what it is that I need. So I'll click subscribe. Now, this one for unknown subscribers, buy YouTube views, now delivering. This is obviously somebody trying to game the system. So I'm going to ignore that. A uh, search engine journal, you know, feed, guide to video marketing on YouTube. That sounds pretty good. I'll click subscribe there. Um, I'm not going to worry about this one. 77 subscribers, uh, Technology Inc. I don't know. doesn't sound like quite what I want. YouTube marketing tips. Uh, this sounds great. Click subscribe. So as you can see now, all the feeds that I have subscribed to are have popped up here. And now the content is coming to me. And, and I'll show you how this can work. I can click YouTube marketing. 
And I can see, okay, there's a bid for Hulu expected tomorrow from Google, Amazon, uh, Yahoo, and DirecTV. I can scroll to the next article, or actually inside of uh, Google Reader, I can actually do the letters J and the letter K will go back and forth between articles. So I'm pushing J and K right now. And what's great here is I can realize and understand that you know these are the articles that I'm looking for. And as you'll notice here, there's the number seven. Those are seven articles left. Once I go here, I've read that one here. Here, you can notice now they're counting down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, I've read all of these articles. Now, there's lots of different things that you want to do with the article, and uh, sometimes you might decide that um, this isn't the feed that you were looking for. I mean, in this particular case, you know, in this particular case, you know, something about based on a true story has nothing to do with YouTube marketing for me. You know, however, this article here about best branded viral video ad campaigns, I, I mean, this is what I want. So this is definitely a campaign. Um, this is definitely a feed that I want to take a look at. Um, YouTube brands. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, Mentos Facebook app, uh, app offers help for boring and vain friends. All right. You know, maybe they don't talk about what I'm talking about. Uh, Nest is a personalized search engine for the mobile world. Well, that's not YouTube. Might scroll here. Uh, Post Secret lets you reveal hidden thoughts. YouTube video of the day. Wow, they do something called the YouTube video of the day. Uh, this is something that I want to take a look at. You know, guide to video marketing. You get the idea. And so you can build up as many things as you want. And you don't just, um, you know, I might decide at a subscription on YouTube business. See what we've got? And we've got YouTube tips for small business coming from Mashable. Interesting. Oh, look at that. I've already subscribed to them. Oh, this is good to know that you, you know, Mashable is there. Um, you know, Web Worker Daily, interesting. 7,000 subscribers. I'm going to subscribe to them. You know, PC World's got something. I'm going to subscribe to them. I mean, very quickly, as you can see here, I am building a pretty good comprehensive list of stuff for me to read. Now, I'm going to want to manage it, and I'm going to want to uh, categorize it and do some things with it. Well, let me show you how that's done. Pretty easy here. So I mouse over this one, YouTube and Marketing. I can click here, and I've got all sorts of options. I've got folders. See here? And I can move them to folders that I have set up. Now, you'll notice that I haven't set up a Facebook folder. Well, that's okay. Let's do that. We'll go to Manage Subscriptions. Click here. And we've got a Managing Subscription Area. And you can see this is everything that I've dealt with. But what we're going to do here is we're going to go to Folders and Tags. And you can see I've got one called Apple, Biz Blogging, Ego Surfing, Fun, the different things that I'm interested in. And, you know, fun is just that fun. It's not the type of thing that, you know, I, I necessarily need in my business. But Internet Marketing, Local, that type of things there. You'll ha notice I have no YouTube folder. So um, let's definitely set up a YouTube folder, shall we? Making a folder inside of Google Reader is actually much easier. We're back here at the home page. And uh, we'll just take this YouTube marketing here. We'll take this drop down menu. And you'll see we have the folders that we can put it in. But the great thing is, we're just going to create here a new folder. We're going to call that folder YouTube. And then upon clicking OK, it uh, moved that into YouTube automatically, which you can see there. And then from this point now, we can just move these things right into the YouTube folder. See how easy that is? So now I've got all my YouTube stuff in one folder. And now I've got 46 items in there. Might be time to come in here and uh, start to read what's happening in terms of YouTube. Now, this is a Twitter reaction to the earthquake. Uh, this was recorded at the time of that big earthquake. And uh, I can now go through and read the stuff that I'm interested in. And, you know, some stuff I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to keep. Uh, some stuff I do. So, you know, Google Maps, the Chrome desktop, not important to me. Voice brief, not important. YRIM BBM service, not important, not important, not important, not important. You know, and this type of thing happens. You quickly go through this stuff. But the fact of the matter is, you know, as I go through this now, uh, social marketers must rethink these things. All right, this might be interesting. Well, I could start the item to come back to later. This is here. And then I can go back to Apple st Stocks stabilizes. And I begin to read through these things, you know, realizing that, uh, you know, YouTube partner channels added to common score video metrics for July. Very important. Um, this is exactly the stuff that I need to know. I need to read. So at this point, you know, I might read it accordingly. And uh, certainly going to start uh, showing that it's one of the articles that I'm interested in. 
And so now, again, I've got all these different blogs that I'm reading, and I'll find the stuff that I like, and I'll find the stuff that I don't like. Now, you know, let's let's say that there's one blog that I'm just not interested in. Let's say this guide to video marketing on YouTube, how to search engine journal isn't good for me. Well, the great thing is we can go to manage subscriptions, go up here to guide. You can see I've got a lot of stuff. Guide to video marketing, I can simply... Click OK, and it goes away. Nice, simple, easy. We can now go back to Google Reader and uh, continue to get to work. So that's Google Reader. Um, that's everything I need. The great thing is, again, I can go in category, find out what's happening in YouTube if I want to, uh, jump over to the fun stuff You know, if I want to go to there, or I can click all items and um, find out what's happening across everything that I'm looking at. Uh, extremely powerful, extremely viable, and it's all there you know, in front of my fingertips. Next thing I want to show you is Google Alerts. We are now at Google Alerts at the very strange domain name of www.google.com forward slash alerts. Uh, just like before, all you need is a Google account to utilize this service, and this is tremendous stuff. And uh, basically, you take a term such as YouTube marketing. Again, you have to spell these things correctly. And um, you can see that you've got the option for everything, just news, just blogs, just video, or just discussions. In my particular case, um, I only want to know what's happening in the news. Uh, we are good to go, and then I want to send that to a feed. Um, you know, the great thing here is I can see over the course of the day, we've got these four pieces of news about YouTube marketing. Um, that is about perfect for me. Um, if it was something a little bit more obscure, YouTube marketing teens, for instance, um, there might not be much there. So I might want to find myself in the everything category. And uh, then there'll be some stuff there. Or maybe I want to get a little bit more um, specific. But, you know, as you set up the feeds, and you can set up as many feeds as you want, and um, we'll go with YouTube marketing here. I'm going to go with just news. So again, if you've got a very targeted niche, maybe go back one um, to find your feeds. But once you've got the alerts, um, once you've got what it is that you're looking for, and again, here's a live example of it, go ahead and create the alert. And then what will happen here is um, you can see that these things go right to Google Reader. So uh, YouTube marketing. Only the best results um, coming from news as it happens goes to Google Reader. And now that stuff gets fed right into my Google Reader account. We are now back in my Google Reader account and you can see that I've got my Google Alert coming through and um, it's the YouTube marketing one that I set up. I actually put it inside of a Google Alerts folder because you know I should put a bunch of Google Alerts in there. I recommend that you do the same. I go ahead and click on that and now we've got the articles that came from Google Alerts. We saw this previously, dude, where's my bandwidth? Uh, digital revolution, video marketing, Avenet, electronics marketing, uh, feeds for Google Alerts, that notification that things are coming. So that's Google Alerts, again, part of Reader. So now realize I'm searching blogs that I found through the add a subscription area. I am searching news, I'm searching blogs, I'm searching feeds, I'm searching discussion, I'm searching videos all through Google Reader, and it's all coming to this one powerful place that, again, I can view on my desktop, like I'm viewing here. I can view it on my iPhone. I can view it uh, through several apps that sync these things up. It's really, really powerful stuff. And now that it's all in one place, uh, there's a lot to read. You can see this number is building up quickly, you know, just over the time that we recorded this video. But the fact of the matter is, it is at one place. I can go, at very, go through it very, very quickly, and that is the power of Google Reader. All right, what do you do with this? Well, number one, I want you to set up a Google Reader account. Again, any Google account and you've got one going. I want you to subscribe to niche blogs, blogs in your area. And again, you know, use a little bit of refinement. Um, if there's a lot of content, then be picky. Uh, pick the stuff that makes the most sense, the ones with the most subscribers, the one with the most obvious content. Um, if you're in a more of a niche area, you know, you gotta take what you can get, but that's part of the game. I want you to subscribe to those niche blogs. I want you to set up Google Alert topics. And then finally, last but not least, I want you to enjoy the awesome.